Hi guys, I'm Shmi and we're at the 2015 IAA, the Motor Show in Frankfurt, where I'm visiting the Rolls-Royce Villa to take a look at this car, the new Dawn. And to be shown around Dawn, I'm going to be joined by product manager for this car, Jonathan Shear. So thank you very much for joining me today. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, let's jump straight to the car. Tell me about it. Tell me where did this begin? What sort of started off Dawn? So the whole story of Dawn really was that extension to the Rolls-Royce family. We were looking for that next step into an informal Rolls-Royce following on from where Wraith left off. So here we decided what we needed was this ultimate luxury boulevard year, this convertible to go on fantastic encounters uh, in those hot spots around the world and uh, I think what better car to do it with than a Rolls-Royce convertible and so jumping into the details really what we have here is this fantastic new front end to the car beautiful full LED headlights which give a width uh, to the car but also a level of focus and concentration much like our customers still got their eye uh, on their work also, underneath this radiator grill, we have this beautifully sculpted, very dynamic bumper. Of course, a Rolls-Royce wouldn't be a Rolls-Royce without a radiator grill. And this one recessed underneath this long, sleek bonnet with those vapor trails, alluding to the power that lives inside. So under here, uh, we have a Rolls-Royce V12, 6.6 litre engine, 563 brake horsepower, which will take you to 60 in around 4.7 seconds. And of course, our Rolls-Royce owners love to drive their cars. And it's not about numbers on a piece of paper, it's how we put that power down on the road. And here, this engine is attached to an eight-speed satellite-aided transmission, smart technology that reads the road ahead, anticipating the next gear you need. And of okay. course... That's some very clever technology, yeah, just picking absolutely. up on that. So it's aware of your sort of geolocation. Absolutely, so it knows if you're entering a bend or exiting a bend, and it anticipates the gear for your next maneuver. And of course, on top of this Dawn chassis balanced to give you that magic carpet ride, it's only available in a true Rolls Royce. And then as we move around to the side of the car, I think we're really captivated by this very stylish, flowing, uh, really quite youthful edge. And up until now, um, Rolls Royce has been revered for these very architectural front ends. Dawn is much more soft. And therefore you can see starting underneath that rear headlight, the line runs horizontally, rises to define that front fender and it fires straight down the side of the car until we reach the rear three quarters where it really swells uh, over the shoulder and then tapers away. And again, at the side we have this really low slung stance, this generous body proportion and this compressed roof line. The roof really rolls over, cosseting those passengers inside and giving the car a very dynamic almost hot rod like feel but um, we have this beautiful fabric roof uh, for historical reasons really traditionally we've always had a soft top but we also think that it adds to the style and uh, and craftsmanship but it's not just about how well it looks it's about how well it performs so we've even got this French seam that runs down the length of the body, which adds to the sleekness, but also the aerodynamics of the car. So your experience in this Dawn will be equal to that you'd expect in a hardtop coupe. Okay. But I think, you know, this is a convertible, we should probably take the roof off. So. Definitely. While I do that, I mean, this is something that we're really proud of, the silence of the roof. So okay. uh, hopefully you won't hear anything because uh, our yes. engineers have really worked hard to make it a very graceful and silent manoeuvre. I would say that was fairly silent. Absolutely. So the roof fully retracts in 21 seconds and you can do that whilst driving at up to 30 miles an hour. So a real engineering achievement. Now, now we have the car uh, in the open position, we can really see how Dawn is a showcase of that Goodwood craftsmanship. And the first thing we have is this beautiful open port tonneau deck here in Makassar Ebony. And it really uh, circles around those rear occupants and connects the exterior of the car to the interior via this waterfall panel that pierces down in between these rear passenger seats and the eye is flowing through the car. 
This beautiful Arctic white interior and uh, consort red leather really kind of gives uh, a sense of uh, voluptuousness and sense of occasion and, and I think revives the Dolce Vita, uh, which was of course uh, the time when the original 28 Silver Dawn drop head coupes were brought uh, to existence in the late 40s, early 50s. With that, I think we have all of the real salient points of Dawn, uh, but just to say, of course, that it is designed as a true four-seater. Uh, we strongly believe that luxury is something to be shared uh, with friends, family, loved ones, and therefore every single occupant is considered in the design of the car. Often you have to apologize to your guests uh, within the car for knee room, head room, and uh, being buffeted around. But we've really cosseted them with this rising belt line uh, that just comes round the back of those rear seats. The raked windscreen really gives them that insulated feel from the elements, much like turning up the collar of a jacket uh, to cut out that breeze. So you can arrive in style uh, to wherever it is your journey is taking you. Okay, what is the name out of interest for this deep red colour? So here we have a, a beautiful Madeira red and the bonnet is in a jubilee silver and then when the roof is up the silver roof blends with that bonnet to give that fantastic two-tone uh, configuration which rolls royces handled so exceptionally well uh, while we're here i'd just like to take a quick look at the interior as well if that's okay Please. yeah luxury fit and finish and materials inside is always quite breathtaking Right. and it's all about those small details, the stitching, the piping, just making sure even the steering wheel blends in to the environment. Um, yeah, perfection is uh, no small thing, uh, but it's the small things that make perfection. And as you were saying to me just before, the Dawn is more than just a, uh, a Wraith convertible. Yes, every time we produce a car at Rolls-Royce, it has to be unique, iconic, and instantly recognizable. So when these fantastic cars finally make it to the streets in uh, February, March of 2016, these will be instantly recognizable as a Rolls-Royce door. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much for showing me around. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. While we're still here at the Rolls-Royce Villa, we've come downstairs where the launch specification of the Dawn is, and I wanted to take a look around this car as well. So we're still joined by John here, so can you tell us about what we're looking at? So here we have a fantastic Dawn in Midnight Sapphire, and as we come around the car, we can see that indeed the interior has this fantastic Mandarin interior. And upstairs, you know, Dawn told the story of a, of a very elegant, uh, a very elegant configuration but what we've got with Dawn is probably the most versatile canvas at Rolls-Royce and so in contrast to the car we saw upstairs here we have this fantastic avant-garde interior but it really tells the name of Dawn. Dawn is when the sky goes from black to blue and then that burst of sunshine emerges from within that fantastic hand-painted coach line depicts the break of the sun on the horizon and I think on top of these new unique Dawn wheels really gives this car a sense of occasion and of course um, our Rolls-Royce owners love to personalize their cars taking advantage of all of our bespoke offerings and they really make their car not only their own in terms of bespoke but also a true representation of their style their lifestyle and really unique to themselves hearing this or sort of thinking about the whole the specification the choice of colors with the representation of the name. It's actually quite a clever story. I personally love the sort of, the complete, almost good, the contrast, but I guess it's a natural contrast because it's one we're used to seeing. Yeah, and, uh, and it's one that's actually gone over incredibly well. Um, we've been doing some, uh, some private closed room events, introducing Dawn to our uh, existing exclusive customer base, and this has been really well received, so much so that we have a number of customers just saying, just send me one exactly like that, don't change right, okay, a thing. The specification. And you you mentioned the, the wheels, a new wheel design for this car. Yes, yeah, so uh, available in painted and fully polished, uh, as you can see here, this fantastic 21-inch uh, forged wheel um, has got lots more presence, a lot more style, uh, and uh, definitely really adds to the, to the excitement of Dawn. As, as we're looking down the side, I, I've always loved the bespoke coach lines. It's so, I guess, iconic, aren't they? But uh... Yes, and our, our coach line painter, Mark Court, is uh, also famous around the world with our customers. So indeed, indeed. Whenever we meet them, they always ask after him. 
And that's uh, actually quite interior. I like actually how there's some blue brought into the interior as well, sort of matching with the exterior paintwork. And the blue actually goes a long way to, to soften the mandarin uh, and makes it much easier on the eye. And this fantastic Bombay rosewood that runs from the fascia through the doors uh, up that waterfall panel onto the deck really uh, harmonizes again between the blue and the mandarin interior. I think this is an absolutely beautiful car. I'm glad we came down to look at it as well. So uh, thank you again for extending the piece there. Really appreciate it. That was brilliant. Right, so there we go then. I hope you enjoyed that look around the new Rolls-Royce Dawn here in their villa at the 2015 IAA. The motor show is an absolutely beautiful car, truly breathtaking. So a big thanks to Jonathan Shears there for joining me and showing you the new car. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for plenty more coverage and I will catch up with you again very soon. Cheers. Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4 Spider. Now this is a soft top. If you look right here, you can see that the horseshoe is actually a floating element that holds the front wing in place. Electric Mission E. This is a 300 mile range, 600...